Hello and welcome to Behind the Money. Today, we're taking a look at the fascinating history, rise and fall, and significance of Transworld Airlines, also known as TWA. I'm your host, Morris Swilly. And from TWA. Founded in 1930 by Howard Hughes, TWA quickly became one of the most iconic airlines in the world. In its prime, TWA was known for its glamorous image and innovative service, serving destinations across the globe. However, TWA's story is not just one of success, it's also a cautionary tale of how even the most celebrated companies can struggle to adapt to a changing market. In this episode, we'll take a closer look at the history, rise and fall, and significance of Transworld Airlines. Firstly, let's explore the history of TWA. The airline was initially known for its domestic flights within the United States. However, TWA soon expanded into international markets, offering service to destinations in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. TWA was also known for its pioneering use of technology, including the introduction of the first in-flight movies and the first regular transatlantic passenger service. Secondly, let's examine TWA's rise to prominence. TWA's success can be attributed to its focus on innovation and luxury. The airline's ambassadors program, which featured glamorous flight attendants in elegant uniforms became a symbol of TWA's commitment to luxury air travel. TWA also introduced several industry firsts, including the first in-flight meals and the first use of jet engines on commercial flights. By the 1960s, TWA was one of the largest and most profitable airlines in the world. However, TWA's fortunes began to decline in the 1980s due to several factors. Firstly, the airline faced competition from other airliners such as American and Delta, which expanded their international routes. Secondly, the rising cost of fuel and labor made it difficult for TWA to to maintain its luxury image. Thirdly, TWA struggled to adapt to the changing regulatory environment in the airline industry, which favored larger, more established carriers. Despite their efforts to restructure and remain competitive, TWA was ultimately unable to overcome its financial difficulties. In 2001, the airline filed for bankruptcy, and its assets were sold off to American Airlines. TWA's demise marked the end of an era of glamour and innovation in the airline industry, and its legacy lives on as a reminder of the importance of adaptability and financial prudence in the face of a changing market. In conclusion, TWA was a pioneering force in the aviation industry, introducing several industry firsts and setting a standard for luxury air travel. However, the airline's decline and ultimate demise serves as a cautionary tale of how even the most successful companies can struggle to adapt to changing market conditions. The TWA story somewhat reminds me of Pan Am, and if you want to know the story of Pan Am, click in the top right corner or click the first link in our description. Thank you for watching Behind the Money.